Hey everybody, High Tech Hillbilly here. I just want to show you the Yandex browser. It's actually developed in Russia, and I think it's going to be the the big browser um, industry standard before you know it, um, outside of Google and Chrome anyway. I think it's a much better browser than either one of those, and I think they've done a whole lot of uh, good things with it and I just wanted to show it to you so when you first install Yandex browser this act this page here is actually a video um, it's it's called an active background and it's uh, I think if I remember it's a beach right now I just have it I haven't even changed anything I just turned off the active background because I it just the constant movement just kind of messed with my eyes a little bit I literally just installed this browser again about 10 minutes ago um, I had forgotten to reinstall it on this machine after formatting and I wish I would have done that I just forgot about the browser anyway I revisited the browser this morning and I think I want to stick with it as much as I can it's got some really cool features it's very customizable um, and frankly to tell you the truth, these days, I trust Russian developers a lot more than I trust U.S. developers. And it's not the actual developers themselves, it's the companies. So, anyway. So, basically, let's go to... Where can I go here? Where's my Yandex browser at? Okay, I have two open right now. So, this is their home page here. It's actually in Russian, and if I turn off translate, this is the page when it first came up. It looks a lot like a browser or like an opera page. But if you have it, you can easily have it to translate any, if you look here at the upper right hand window or right hand corner, you can translate it, you can always translate it. Um, and now watch it'll it'll change now sometimes it takes it a minute to, to to process the entire translation but it does work and it works really well anyway so that's that's one thing it's got going for it Google translates okay it's not very good though but this one seems to be excellent actually so I haven't completely set this up I've told it where I want to want to to know where I'm at which is in Bonner's Ferry here um, let me show you some of the settings here because I think you're really gonna like this let me bring up the other over here at the top right we have the settings and I wish that would pop up for some reason it pops up on the other monitor there we go so if I this is one of the browser windows here I'm gonna go ahead and click that there so this is your settings button and if, it looks a lot like opera kind of a hybrid between opera and chrome really but it's got a lot of interesting things um, you can actually have separate users on here which is nice i don't even know if opera and uh, chrome do that by default i think you have to log into their site to do it um, you can granularly control your bookmarks just like any other browser easily find your history which is kind of cool this is really this is a really nice feature here um, your add-ons let's go straight to the settings because uh, there's a few key things that I want to show you here their ad blocker if I can find it doo -doo -doo -doo. you can change your search your default search engine really easily notice there's no Google window on your start page that's nice I turned off my Yandex recommendations feed uh, the high resolution animated background is turned on. I'm going to turn that off uh, like I had it before. I turned it back on just for this video. Control some of that from here. You can, you can say how you want certain things um, displayed regarding your bookmarks. Really nice. So here's the ad blocker. So it, you can actually get a list of blocked ads. That's really cool. They have a list of exempted sites so you can actually add exempted websites add websites if you wanted to I just think that that's an interesting option you can control 
the ads that you would not want to see. And that is really cool. Or you just block all ads. Um, they have a virtual assistant here. I turned this off. This was on by, well, this was checked. But I turned this off. I'm not real fond of this idea of anything listening to me at all. Anyway, but that's just, that's the global world that we live in, frankly. So, it's, it's nice that that's easily turned off. So, it's got a turbo. You can turn that on and off. I think Opera has that as well. Um, just everything is real easy to find here in the settings. You can manage your Yandex services. They have a cloud service available, a lot like Opera's and Google's and Microsoft's. It's been a while since I've visited this uh, browser, but I really like it so far. Boom. How easy is that? Turning off the notifications from websites. So up here, they have a threat security section, which is really nice. Um, I mean, a lot of the other browsers have it, but it's, it's kind of buried in the other browsers. And so it's real easy to manage from here. So this section here, passwords and cards, I'm not going to click on that because that's going to show you my usernames for a bunch of different websites. That's a really cool feature. Um, that is really cool. But so I think that has something to do with the users. If you're the only one using this computer, that's an awesome feature to have available. If you're not the only one, you better set up user accounts for each user on this browser. Otherwise, they'll have access to this and it'll show all your usernames. So if you've got teenagers that are unruly or something, um, I would not keep this available to them. Anyway, so just so there's a re if you install this browser, check this out because uh, it's really cool. Um, what you have to do when you first install the browser is you have to import your settings um, from Opera or Chrome or whatever you usually use and what it'll do is it'll drop that information into here and then you can view it um, your login information right here it's really really an interesting feature that I've never seen before alrighty well that's just a quick thing on uh, Yandex if I go to yandex.com do I have Yandex? no I didn't even install it on here interesting it's just a simple website um, a lot like any search engine but this is an actual search engine okay it's one of the few left in the world I'm gonna continue I'm gonna go back to using this I don't know why I stopped I think I just forgot and I wish I hadn't forgot anyway that's that. This is High Tech Hillbilly out. And if you have any questions or anything, feel free to holler at me. All right. Thanks.